Hi everyone, this is Suzanne from Under The Covers and I'm here to introduce November's Pick It For Me video. So we're going to tell you what we really liked about our pick from October and then what we're picking for our partner this month. So this month I am picking for Francesca, Francesca is picking for Annie and then Annie is picking for me. So um, after this you'll see a little clip of us talking about our picks from October and then what we're going to inflict upon our person for this month. So last month I got given Good Boy by Serena Bowen and Al Kennedy which is the first in their WAG series which is closely connected to their Us um, like duet which is about one couple which is an, it's an LGBT book. Um, so I ended up reading the rest of that, the second book in that series which I hadn't started um, and then reading Good Boy so I knew kind of who that character was because Wags is a spin-off of that series. I loved it. Uh, I ended up reading three books in one day. So the second in the Us series, uh, Good Boy and then the second in the Wags series. Um, I really loved it. It was a fantastic pick by Francesca. Um, so yeah, it was a successful month, it, it was just really great. So Good Boy, the book that was actually picked for me, the character was so hilarious, I really loved Blake. He was so good. Um, he was kind of funny, with a big heart, um, a huge hockey player, but he's just like a big teddy bear. So if you want some uh, kind of a light-hearted contemporary romance, which has um, just a big marshmallow of a hero and which will also make you laugh, then that is definitely the book for you. Um, and so on to my recommendation, no, not my recommendation, sorry, my pick for Francesca. And it is a little bit of a recommendation because I loved this book when I read it. Um, and when I was sneakily trying to see kind of what Francesca was in a mood for so I could do a good pick, she let me know that she was in the mood for a thriller. So, as that's the case, I am picking for Francesca this month, Still House Lake by Rachel Kane, which is the first in her Still House Lake series. I loved it. Um, it was so good, so tense. Um, it's not really got much romance in it, it's more or less just a straight thriller, but it was so good, so good. I really hope she enjoys it as much as I did. And that is my pick um, for November for Francesca, and I hope she likes it as much as I liked her pick for me for October. Hey guys, this is Francesca, and for my pick it for me last month, Annie picked 400 Days by Lara Adrian. This is the first one in an erotic romance trilogy and I was a little skeptical to start this because I love Lara Adrian and I've been putting off reading this series because I haven't really been reading a lot of erotic romance lately. But I'm happy to say that this had Lara Adrian's signature writing style. It really draws you in and I really cared for the characters. It is a billionaire type romance and it is a cliffhanger ending so you do have to read the whole trilogy so there's no HEA at the end of this one which I was a little mad about because I didn't really realize that you had to read the whole thing. But I really did enjoy what we got in this story. It was hot. It had great characters and great writing and I'm really interested to find out more about them and see how their relationship develops further in the rest of the series. I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars so it was a win for me. So in November I get to pick for Annie and I wanted to pick Taylor Jenkins Reid and I debated which book of hers I wanted Annie to read this month and a lot of her books are a little bit more in the romance genre but I ended up going with the one that came out this year which is actually women's fiction and that is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This was one of my favorite reads of the year so <laughs> fingers crossed that Annie likes it but I really love Taylor Jenkins read writing and in this one in particular I really love the main character and how complex she was and obviously this is not a romance there's no HEA but I'm really excited to see what Annie thinks about Taylor Jenkins Reid the way she crafts her stories and her writing her characters and how thought-provoking they are so I hope that you enjoy The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo as much as I did and if you don't don't kill me. Hey guys it's Annie I'm back for another pick it for me video so last month, Suzanne picked for me, and she picked a contemporary romance, and this book is by V. Keelan and Penelope Ward. I'm unsure if it's pronounced as V or Vi, so I'm really sorry if I mispronounced your name. Um, but the book is called Stuck Up Sue. 
Now Suzanne has recommended this book to me because she thought I would like the fun banter and the sexy romance um, and I thought I would like it too. Um, I have never read anything by these authors before. Um, usually I steer away from these kind of books just because, um, I don't know, I'm not really into um, just your straight up sexy contemporary romances. Um, I like the ones that are a little bit, not necessarily more sweeter, but the ones that um, have a little bit more to it. Um, I did think that this book um, didn't really delve into quite as much as I thought it would. Um, and that's why I didn't really fall in love with this book as much. I did like the banter and I thought it was cute, but um, it's not a book for me that was really memorable. So um, I didn't really connect with the characters all that much. Um, and I did think that the writing was a little bit um, wishy-washy. It wasn't like my favorite narration. So all those things kind of played into how much I liked it in the end. I don't think I would be reading more from these authors again. It's just probably not my style, I guess. Um, which is why I haven't read anything from these authors before. I guess I kind of knew beforehand that it wouldn't be my style just from reading the blurbs and stuff like that. So if you want something that's a little bit more lighthearted, that doesn't have too much angst, and it's a little bit more sexy, then you'll probably enjoy this book. Um, however, I do like a little bit more substance to my reads. So that's all I have to say for my pick for this month. So now I get to pick for Suzanne again. So my pick for Suzanne is going to be the pick that I originally wanted her to read, but I changed my mind last minute, and I'm going to go with Beck McMaster, Mission Improper. Um, this is the first book in her spin-off series of the London Steampunk series. It's called The Blue Blood Conspiracy. Um, I think she'll like this book. Um, I really like the world building and the hero and the heroine has great chemistry. So um, I do hope that she enjoys this book because um, she enjoyed the London Steampunk. So Suze, I hope you enjoyed this book and I will see the rest of you guys next month. Bye! So those are our picks for November. Uh, let us know if you've read any of those books and what you think. Um, so now is your chance to win one of the books that we actually read in October. Uh, just to recap, those books were Good Boy by Serena Bowen and Al Kennedy, Stuck Up Suit by V. Keeland and Penelope Ward, and For 100 Days by Lara Adrian. So, um, details of how to enter will be below. Um, let us know what you think about our picks this month and if you've read any of the ones that we had for October. Thanks for listening and have a really great month.